If you're anything like me, you'll be itching to get the growing season underway. But while warmer days may still be a little way off, there are some vegetables that can be sown or planted in late winter, satisfying the gardener's urge to get growing. Here are five ideas for enjoying a super early start to your gardening year. Some crops can be direct sown where they are to grow, if they're offered some protection. Late winter is a great time to start once the ground is no longer frozen, with day length already noticeably longer than a few weeks earlier, and temperatures creeping upwards on sunny days. Cold frames and mini hoop tunnels can be used to start off the very hardiest vegetables, including radishes, winter lettuces and arugula or rocket. Cover the soil surface for at least one week before sowing, to give the soil a chance to warm up and dry out a little, otherwise the seeds may simply rot. This popular method uses recycled plastic bottles to create miniature greenhouses that are ideal for cold tolerant seedlings. Making a mini greenhouse is easy, Cut a bottle open two thirds from the bottom, leaving a hinge of plastic at the back. Pierce or drill drainage holes into the base. Fill with potting soil and sow your winter hardy seeds. Cover them over and water. Now close the lid by sealing the top of the bottle to the base with heavy duty tape. Don't forget to add a label with the variety and date of sowing. These mini greenhouses can be placed straight outside, saving valuable greenhouse or windowsill space. Leave them sealed up until early spring, when the seedlings will have germinated. When the seedlings push against the lid, it's time to open them out. Keep an eye on your seedlings and apply more water as needed, in case sunny days dry them out. Suitable seeds for sowing this way include hardy salads such as winter lettuce, endive and mash or lamb's lettuce. Or why not try close planting cloves of garlic for flavoursome garlic shoots. A number of early risers can be started off in a greenhouse or tunnel by sowing into seed trays, pots or cells. Hardy vegetables such as onions, shallots, chard and spinach fit the bill and will grow slowly but steadily to produce sturdy young seedlings for planting out in a couple of months. Greenhouses also offer the most flexible option for crops that are sown directly into borders or containers. Examples include beets, carrots, spinach, radish, chard, plus cold tolerant salads such as winter lettuce. Some seeds will only germinate early if they receive the added warmth of an indoor windowsill or grow lights. Examples include spring planted vegetables such as cauliflower, celery and cabbage, as well as heat loving crops like peppers and eggplant or aubergine, which are best started off in propagators or under grow lights. Any plant growing indoors in winter will struggle to get enough light, if you plan to grow your seedlings on indoors, then grow lights will help you to overcome the lack of natural light. Grow lights can also be used to grow salads and herbs year round. See our video on using grow lights for further details. While starting off spring planted crops, you could also grow some early pots of tasty leaves for your kitchen windowsill, such as basil or a cut and come again salad mix. Pots can be used to start off extra early onions and shallots from miniature bulbs called sets. Fill 3 inch or 7 cm pots with potting soil. Push in one set per pot, leaving just the tip showing. Water well. Keep pots indoors on a bright windowsill or inside a greenhouse or cold frame. You could also plant 3 or 4 sets to a larger container. If you are growing in a milder climate, you can place these outside right away. These ones here are protected from cold winds by clear plastic sleeves cut from recycled bottles. Of course, late winter arrives at different times in different parts of the world. It's important not to sow too early indoors, otherwise the plants will be raring to go while the weather outside is still too cold to plant them out. Our garden planner uses a network of thousands of local weather stations to find the last frost date for your area. It calculates the precise sowing and planting dates for the crops in your plan, so by looking at the plant list, you'll know exactly what you can sow when in your location. The blue bars show when you can start each crop indoors or under cover, while the green bars indicate the window of time when you can harden them off and gradually transfer them for planting outside. As you can see, there's great potential for early sowings. Let us know what you start off early in the season, drop us a comment below and share your tips. Over the coming weeks, we'll be covering other surefire ways of getting your growing season off to the best possible start, so if you haven't yet subscribed to our video channel, now's the perfect time to do so.
I look forward to catching you next time.